What's the standout match of your career to date? Um, well, I think growing up, everybody always wants to play at Wembley. So playing at Wembley was a big thing for me um, in the playoff finals for Yeovil. Unfortunately, we were beaten. Um, but I'd probably have to say along with that would be uh, drawing with Chelsea at Stamford Bridge in the FA Cup when I was at South End. We drew 1-1 uh, with them. Who was your goalkeeping inspiration when you were growing up? Big Liverpool supporter, so I used to watch a lot Bruce Grobbelaar and have DVDs of him and, and vid oh, well, should I say DVDs, it was VHS then when I was a kid. Um, him and I would say obviously then Peter Schmeichel when he came to Manchester United, even though I don't like Manchester United. <laughs> Biggest compliment you've ever been paid in football? Um, the gay going back to the Chelsea game uh, in the dying seconds, I pulled off a, uh, so people tell me, a very, very good save uh, against uh, Franco De Santos um, that kept it at 1 1. And after the game, Filippo Scolari um, likened it to Gordon Banks <laughs> uh, against Pele in the Mexico, I think it was Mexico World Cup. So for me, that's the biggest compliment I've ever been um, paid by anybody in football. Not a bad one, have you? No. Um, who's the victim of the most dressing room banter? Uh, I'd say there isn't one person. There's quite a bit of banter that goes around. There's quite a lot of people that like to give it out. And um, I'd say Dave Clarkson comes in with some uh, questionable clothes at time for a Scotsman. And... Uh, so he gets a good bit of ribbing from now and uh, now and then, but it generally goes around to a lot of people, to be honest. Which of your teammates would you elect to take one for the team? I think that means if, if someone was clean for one goal. Macca. I think Macca's the one that would... Uh, yeah, Macca would be. Macca would take one for the team and, and take a red card if it meant that we were going to uh, hold on to a lead or win a game or, or not lose. Yeah, Macca. What's the funniest thing an opposition supporter has ever shouted at you? <laughs> that you can repeat I don't think I've had many funny things shouted at me some some nasty things but I don't know I've never had really the funny things shouted at me at all to be honest with, with supporters uh, away supporters it's usually a little bit harsher than that <laughs> <laughs> uh, having achieved a 2-1 in, in your degree over the summer do you envisage your career in the media when you eventually uh, stop playing um, I would like to um, stay in football if I can uh, but um I've always been interested in it uh, in sports journalism and I think it's a good way to stay involved in sports so if I couldn't stay in as a goalkeeping coach um, it would be something I'd look to do um, but I'd also if I do stay in football uh, and I'm, I'm lucky enough to be a goalkeeping coach it was something I'd like to do you know run alongside it there are a lot of players that do it um, in respective areas so it's something that I would like to continue to do whether it be the, the main purpose or, or a side purpose. If you could swap lives with any of your teammates for 24 hours, who would you choose and why? I think I would like to swap with probably Ellis Harrison, because just to see what actually goes on in that kid's brain from time to time. Because he never stops talking, he's always bubbly, I think he thinks he's the best player in the world, the best looking boy in the world, the best banter in the world. So, yeah, I think, I don't know if it would be a day, I think maybe half an hour would be enough in Ellis's head, but I'd like to swap and see what goes on in Ellis's head. <laughs> How would you describe your dress sense? Um, I would say um, sophisticated, with a flair every now and then. That's flair as in F-L-A-R. Yeah, with a little bit of flair, not flares as in wearing flares. <laughs> uh, your favourite song at the moment, excluding anything by the Backstreet Boys? Uh, favourite song at the moment? Uh, God, you've caught me there. Favourite song at the moment? I haven't really got a favourite song at the moment, to be honest with you. Um, favourite album, I've just got, which <laughs> in which people will laugh at. I've just down, uh, downloaded uh, Heart FM's 80s classics, so that's one I'm listening to at the moment. Um, but there's not really a single song um, that, that, yeah, that I'm listening to, more or less that album, to be fair. Now, the quote you mentioned, Ellis Harrison, he's next up in this uh, feature. Is there anything you would like to ask, ask him? Um... <laughs> um what do you have for breakfast every day? Because he's just too full of energy for me. <laughs>
Twitter or Facebook? Twitter. Indian or Chinese? Chinese. Messi or Ronaldo? Messi. Naughty or nice? Naughty. Summer or winter? Summer. <laughs> Xbox or PlayStation? PlayStation. I want it that way or larger than life. Sorry, so repeat that. That's a Backstreet Boys. Isn't oh. it? I want it that way or larger than life. I want it that way. <laughs> Brilliant. Thank you, Steve. No